Well, tonight, health officials in Chatham County are giving us an update about the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. WJCL's Danae Bucci joins us live. And Danae, this update comes after news of a tragic COVID-19 related death. Yeah, these updates are coming as we find out a seven year old boy died of the virus sometime in July and he had no prior health conditions. Now the Georgia Bureau of Investigations is looking into the child's death. Dr. Lawton Davis gave these updates in a county commission meeting earlier today. He says the county's mask mandate and other mitigation efforts seem to be working, but that Chatham County has seen a slight decrease in testing. As of yesterday, Chatham County has given over 63,000 tests, but the county's positive rate has dropped by 4%. While no information was given out about the young boy who died of the virus, Dr. Davis says someone dying of his age is not the norm. We're pretty certain now that children who are less than 10 years old typically are less likely to become infected if they are exposed. And if they become infected, they are less likely to transmit it to others than our older people. By the time a child reaches the middle teens, you know, 13, 14, 15, somewhere in there, as far as transmitting the virus, they, they begin acting <clears throat> like an adult and they can sort of take it home and spread it. Now, Dr. Davis says that there are several vaccines in their third phase of trials, and he's hoping one will be released by either the end of this year or early next year. Reporting from Savannah, Danae Bucci, WJCL 22 News. Today, thank you. Dr. Davis says people should continue to wear a mask and avoid large crowds, especially indoors.